All right, well, this is part two of that vibrator oscillator that I showed in my last video that um, looked like an over unity, free energy kind of thing. And uh, I really appreciate all the comments and all the people that inquired about it and how it was done. And uh, one of the, or several of the people mentioned the way it might have been done was using an uh, external uh, ex electrostatic type of. Uh, driver like a Tesla coil or a Slayer exciter and so I thought I would give it a try and see if I could get it to work like that and yeah I can it's remotely being operated now wirelessly by this thing here but you see how close it has to be on this type of setup for that to work and the way that illusion was done before was this capacitor right here instead of being electrolytic which is what that is was a supercapacitor and this was a six farad 2.7 volt supercapacitor that I'd loaded up with about two and a half volts then uh, during the demonstration I would take it out and I would short it on this screwdriver but the thing was I had put tape on the screwdriver so it was insulated so every time it looked like I was shorting it out I wasn't doing anything and there was enough energy in that supercapacitor to make that oscillator run for the duration of the illusion video but this one here is the uh, wireless electricity uh, transfer from here to here across this air gap it's picked up by a piece of aluminum foil on two diodes called an Avraminko plug or an AV plug the little electrolytic is not a supercapacitor. It's a uh, six uh, microfarad, uh, 200 volt uh, electrolytic, and it just stores the energy between the pulses. And then this gets into a resonance. That little flipper thing going back and forth with the reed switch, and it it oscillates. Um, this was actually not that easy to do. You had to have the right resonance going on there and coupled with the right capacitor and the right distance from the transmitter for this to, to go into oscillation. Now if I stop this you can see the uh, LED will, will go out. Let's see if I can get it to do it here. There. There goes the LED off. If I pull it back all the way it stays on just like an AV plug. If I get it to oscillate then it goes into the oscillation. Now this is uh, basically what I've got going on here. The way I have that LED wired, it's wired up like a regular AV Avraminkle plug that uh, we've all seen in many, many videos using the Slayer exciters or the Dr. Stifler um, SEC exciters or the Tesla coils. And that's just a two... Uh, two diodes, one one way and one the other way, hooked up to an LED and it makes a uh, very interesting uh, here again it looks like free energy <laughs> but it's not. This uh, is running off a USB power 5 volt uh, power bank and it's drawn way up there at 30 40 milliamps uh, to make all this happen but this was um, suggested as one of the ways that the illusion had been done and uh, it makes a real interesting uh, side note experiment that uh, I had not done before. I, I've run a gazillion things off these Slayer exciters, but I've never uh, run a buzzer type of oscillator off of it before. And it can be done. So anyway, I just wanted to explain uh, a couple things about that vibrator oscillator and uh, how, how the illusion was done was with uh, plastic tape on the screwdriver so when I shorted out the capacitor nothing was happening it wasn't shorting out but this is one of the ways uh, if you if you refined this you could give a similar illusion uh, using a um, power source that was transmitting wirelessly and I think that's some of the ways they do it thanks for watching